Replit Model Farm is the fastest and safest way to create generative AI. It works in both Python and JavaScript and allows us to use the Google Cloud Vertex AIs straight in Replit with little to no configuration. You have free access to a range of these models straight through Replit. So let's see what we can build. Now, a really good use case for generative AI models is to build a helper bot for Slack or Discord. In our case, we're going to build a Discord helper bot that responds to a command and answers any question that can be posed at it. This is really pretty cool for your users, and we can do it in Replit without even using an API key for the AI. Let's start by creating a Python template. The first thing we're going to do is go into Discord and get our token for our server. We need to put that in our secrets and paste it in. Now with that in, we can get started with the rest. I'm going to bring in Discord. I'm also going to bring in the OS library and the requests library for analyzing packets and data. I'm going to bring in both the commands and then let's set up our intents. Now our intents are a way to set, tell Discord what settings are allowed. And in your setup for the bot, you do need to allow it to have the intents it needs. I'm going to set the default, allow it to see message content because it needs to see what's in the message and also allow it to see the names of the members so we can respond to them. With that set up, we need to create the bot. We need to add the intents and we need to add the command prefix. Now I'm going to just use forward slash because that's a very common slash command command prefix. With that set up, we've got a situation where we can talk to the bot by talking in the server. Okay, let's start by logging the bot in. Now, on ready will run once the bot is up and instantiated. So once logged in, it will tell us what it's logged in as, so we know exactly what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up the messages. We'll start by checking to make sure the message author is not the bot itself, so it's not replying to itself. And of course, we don't need an else because that return will kick us out of the subroutine. If the message it picks up, it's from itself. Let's get the message author ID. So we, can so we can send that back to the user when we need to. And then let's pull the content of the message in. Now with all that taken in, we should be in a good place. What we're gonna to do to start is just print these two things out to check it's working. Okay, so I'm gonna run this code. And of course, one of the things we have got to do is turn the server on. So now we have the bot connected. If we go and say hello in the server, we see it's been picked up by the bot. So once it's picked up, we need to do two things. We need to take that message and send it to Replit AI so we can get the LLM to pass the question and provide us with an answer. And then we need to return that answer to the user. So let's build that subroutine for dealing with the answer. So I'm gonna create a subroutine called call AI and it's taking in a string, which is just the question that we're gonna pull out of that settings. So I've added Replit AI and you can see there how quickly that's getting installed. In my subroutine, I've just put parsing at minute to be a placeholder while I wait for that to install so we can get that working. And we're going to start by specifying the chat model. Now I'm going to use chat bison 001, which is a quite fully featured chat bot. So that should be able to answer most of the questions we pose to it. And I'm going to create an instance of a chat session that allows us to set up the chat with some context and some history and just some information. So context, for instance, is, is giving a description of what the bot's gonna do. So in this case, I'm saying, you're a helpful answer bot, answer the questions as succinctly and accurately as possible. I'm gonna give it some example input as well. Uh, this takes the form of an input output text pair where we show what the input would have been. In this case, we'll put some Doctor Who related trivia, who was the third Doctor Who, and the output text, how you'd like the answer shown, Great question, looks like John Pertwee was the third actor to play Doctor Who. Good eyebrows, just like me. We're also gonna add some message history, and if you want to, now I'm gonna leave that blank for now, but this would be a perfect place to pass a message history if you're able to store that persistently. I'll leave that to you for a future upgrade. We're then gonna send the message with the question of the template, and that's gonna come back to us in response. Now response contains a lot more information than just the raw response, the raw text, the answer. It's also got a bunch of metadata, how many tokens it took, things like that. Well, we need to pull it out with response.rawPredictionResponse and then there's an array with the message and the content. That's just gonna be the text of the answer. I'm gonna return that from the subroutine. So let's go and call that. 
back in our main code, once I've printed out the author and the question in the terminal, I'm going to take the answer by calling that subroutine with my question. And for now, I'm just going to print it out in the terminal to show it works. So let's run that. Let's hop over to Discord and ask a question. So we'll go in the theme. Who is the current Doctor Who? And you can see that it's answered Jodie Whittaker, which as the recording is technically correct. We do need that to be replied to in the Discord though. So the way we do that is very simple. We use an await function because we have a promise that it's going to do it. It's, an, it's asynchronous, it's going to happen in the background. We do message.reply and then in brackets we send what we're going to send back to the original message and it's going to be the answer. Let's try that again. Now we shouldn't need to jump over to Repl to see that coming up in the console this time, it should appear just in here. And let's ask a question about who plays my favourite character, who plays the master in Doctor Who. Well, nice and succinct answer as we asked it to and correct, which is pretty cool. Let's ask it something a bit more esoteric, like who is the most handsome bald dude at Replit? There are multiple options. Fair enough, Replit model farm, set in the fence. Let's ask it a bit more of a, a question that it can give an answer to. What is Replit? Uh, and that's fantastic. That is coming from the AI. Now, this sort of bot is ideal for putting in a Discord where you may have a general Q&A section. You can also go and take a look at our documentation link below for information upon how to train it with other resources. So you can create a bot that answers questions about the topic of your Discord server only if you wanted to. Now, of course, our next step is to deploy this. We can use Replit deployments. Something like Autoscale would work really well for this. Running it as a Discord bot constantly in the background so you've always got something to talk to. Replit Model Farm is a really quick and secure way to get into generative AI. Go and try it out and see what you can build with it. We'd love to see it.